What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Facebook and Instagram filters and not just use them. I mean, actually create your own custom Instagram filters or Facebook filters with full AR support, um, voice changing support, hair color support, um, face mask support, all the cool features you see in those um, really cool filters on Instagram and Facebook. We can make them ourselves. So I'm going to show you how those developers make them and how you can make your own. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to our close up. And what we're going to want to do is download uh, Spark AR Studio. Oh, nice. We got some um, subscribers. Very nice. Uh, so here we have Spark AR. Um, we're actually, before we get started, the subscriber is a nice point. Um, let's go ahead and thank our uh, channel members, Miss Kick 2 s and Rob Leslie. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I want to shout them out for being channel members. And if you want to support my channel and uh, the content that I make, you can click on the join button below and get access to all of my live stream archives, um, chat emoticons, and even shout outs and videos like this. Uh, so let's jump back into it. Um, you're going to want to download Spark AR. Spark AR is the software um, and engine that we use to create all these cool effects that you see on Instagram and Facebook. So you're going to download that and install it and then log in with your Facebook address. Um, and then you're going to want to open up Spark AR. And you're going to be um, given a few tutorials to start off with. If you'd like to try those, you can. Um, it starts you off with some templates. But um, once you finish up with those, you're given this window. Uh, this is the window to create a new um, AR interface or um, uh, I guess you would call it a filter. Um, so you can choose the different kinds. You can create a poster. Um, for example, if there's a picture on the wall, you can add a 3D object to it. Um, you can change the background, you can add an object to the world, um, you can add a face decoration in full 3D, head decoration, color filters, face masks, etc. Alright, so let's go ahead and choose a face mask, for example. And you can see that in our editor, we can adjust which device we want to preview on, so kind of the size of the device. And we can adjust that on our screen to make it larger so we can see it better. And you'll see that we have a, a model here that's moving his face and we can actually edit this. Um, uh, face mask um, with other meshes to change the look. So we see that we have this face mask here. We can actually edit that to any other texture on our computer. So let me go ahead and download a texture real quick. I'm going to download um, a fire texture. Right click. We'll go to replace. And we'll find this fire effect. And now we see that we have a full face fire mask. Um, we can also use animated GIFs to adjust this and um, video files, I believe, as well. So there's a lot of ways we can adjust this and make our custom filters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make more videos on this as well, on how to create different types of uh, templates. So all of our backgrounds, face decorations, things like that. Let me know which ones you would most like to see first, and I'll show you how to get started in those. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers, and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price!